We are Grassroots Garage, and this is a That's in Heaven series. On this episode of Grassroots Garage, Southern California That's in Heaven Part 7, and this time a father son duo, Nelson and Dylan, and their uniquely styled little 510 wagon. <laughs> They've put their individual touches on this little wagon, and with a KA conversion up front, they got themselves a nice little street cruiser. Grassroots Garage, who wants to go first? We've got to do Nelson first. We'll go, we'll go age before beauty, what do you reckon? <laughs> yeah, good one, Pete. <laughs> you, uh, you see this beautiful orange wagon behind us. Nelson, thanks for your time. Not a problem. Dylan, thanks for your time. No problem. Tell us about your car, gents. It's a 71 Datsun 510 wagon. Um, I bought it in 2006 from the original owner. Uh, a good friend of mine uh, called me up and said, uh, got this great car if you're interested and they sent me some pictures and I bought it sight unseen literally by just the photographs oh wow and yeah. we went up to uh, San Francisco to pick it up and we bought it on December 12th uh, 2006 and um, the thing was about it we were supposed to go up the weekend before and we didn't so we went up on the 12th. Then when I was looking at the paperwork, the gentleman I bought the car from bought it on December 12th, 1971. I bought it on the same day same he day. bought it all those years ago. That's right. So yeah. 71, was that 20 years he had it? Something like that. And he was, he, yeah, he well. was retiring and he was going to rebuild the car. And his wife said, no. We're, we're retiring, we're gonna enjoy our lives, and the car goes. Mm -hmm. And so he didn't want the car around, out of sight, out of mind. Sure. So he wanted it to go to somewhere else, you know, another mm -hmm. town. So he contacted my friend Mike, and Mike contacted me, and I've owned it ever since. It's been a common theme amongst these SoCal guys. They all love to drive their Datsuns hard, and we love that. <laughs> This might be your car soon. Yes, that okay. is true. So tell, give me some, give me some story. Tell me about your first memories of this car. Well, I remember my dad um, bringing it home. He was, he had the biggest smile I've ever seen on him. I could, I could picture, I could picture bringing this thing home. What did it look like when he first brought it home? Oh, it, it was um, completely stock. Had house shag carpet in it, um, and it had a stock L16 in it. It was pretty stock. The owner left it pretty bare. So you, you, had no, you had no chance. You were always going to be a Datsun guy, weren't you? Oh, ever since the day I was born. Yeah, yeah. Have you got your driver's license yet? No. So when does that all happen? Uh, hopefully within the next year or two. Yeah. I hope, I hope, do you appreciate how lucky you are to be get, getting such a beautiful car? Oh, I do. I appreciate the fact that it's still on the road and that most more kids nowadays need to be into these classic cars because a lot of them are into the, the more modern cars. Yeah, the and, KDM and, yeah. and these cars are slowly going away. That's right. I agree. Yeah. So what? What's next for the car? What? What? When you own it, when it's your car, what are you going to do to it? Well, I I hope to just leave it the way it is, and if if needed to, put a different motor in it. Okay, just enjoy it and drive it. Yeah, no need to change what's done to it because it's Perfect, pretty much man. done to it. Yeah, done. It's amazing. Uh, that wraps up this episode of Grassroots Garage. Nelson, thanks for your time. Not a problem. And Dylan, thanks for your time. No problem. Coming up next in the Southern California series, we've got another Team Wildcards car. This is Gill's 4-door 510, powered by a Weapon SR20 Turbo. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next one.